our top story, it's a big setback to Google in India. The Supreme Court has refused to stay their appeal against a 1300 crore fine imposed by the Competition Commission of India. The CCI had found Google guilty of exploiting its dominant position in the Indian mobile market. Around 97% of Indian phone users run the Android platform. Now, Google, which owns Android, used this dominant position to further their business. The CCI had slapped a 1300 crore fine on the company last October. But Google had challenged that decision in the top court. The company has faced similar allegations in other markets as well. In fact, earlier this week, the top court asked Google why they were following different regimes in India and in Europe. Today, the Supreme Court refused to stay Google's appeal. They also gave the company one more week to comply with the CCI's order. Let me go straight across to Harish, who is joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Harish, by the looks of it, this order will have repercussions for Google, not just in India, but perhaps in other markets as well. Yes, that's right. Uh, so rightly said, uh, last week, uh, the uh, Supreme Court bench led by the Chief Justice uh, uh, D.Y. Chandrachud had yeah, asked uh, Google as to why it had different yardsticks for different uh, countries, different business patterns for different countries where it operated. So today, the order which has come out from the Supreme Court is a huge, huge uh, setback for the Google as the Supreme Court has refused to stay the the uh, order passed by the uh, Competition Commission of India, which had imposed uh, rupees, uh, whopping uh, rupees uh, 1,338 crore fine for uh, against Google for uh, uh, using uh, various ways to exploit its uh, dominant uh, position in the Android market. In fact, the Android powers, as you rightly said, 95% of India's uh, smartphones. Uh, so, uh, uh, and also the Supreme Court uh, said that 10% uh, uh, of this amount has to be immediately paid within a week by the tech giant Google. Uh, the only relief uh, for Google came in the form of the order from uh, the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud, when that the NCLAT has been uh, uh, directed to uh, dispose of Google's appeal uh, uh, within March 31st and where they can raise uh, all their grievances and challenge the Competition Commission of India's order. Remember, this is the third setback for uh, the tech giant because first the CCI had imposed a fine of rupees 1338 crore then the NCLAT that is the National Company Law Appellate Tribunal also refused to stay uh, the order and had deferred the hearing to April. Uh, so now that hearing has been pre by the uh, Supreme Court and had, uh, which has directed the NCLA to, to hear the appeal expeditiously and pronounce an appeal uh, order by March 31st. And prima facie, uh, the uh, uh, Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud, agreed with the CCI's uh, observations, uh, saying that uh, uh, telling Abhishek Manu Singhvi, uh, the senior advocate who had appeared for Google, that look at the kind of authority you wield in terms of dominance. And I, uh, and I, I would like to quote uh, uh, Justice Devai Chandrachur. He said, look at the kind of authority which you wield in terms of dominance. Data indicates 15,000 Android models, 500 million compatible devices, 1,500 OEMs. When you have that kind of market penetration, then by insisting, you necessarily have my bouquet you directly affecting what the OEM does impact upon the ultimate uh, consumer. So Premier Fessy Supreme Court agreed with the findings of the Competition Commission of India and has asked the Google now to fight it out before the National Company Law Appellate Tribunal which has been disposed uh, to ask to dispose of uh, the Google's appeal by March 31st. So as of now, the big news coming in from the Supreme Court is that Google has suffered a big setback with the Supreme Court refusing to stay the Competition Commission of India's order which had directed uh, it to pay a penalty of 1,338 crores. Back to you. Okay.
Thank you very much, Harish. We'll leave it there for the moment. Also getting an award from Swapnil, uh, Swapnil Kothari, who's a senior lawyer, joining us on the broadcast. Hi, Swapnil. Uh, we understand that uh, Google owns Android, and 97% of Indian phones run on Android. But simply put, what exactly is the charge against Google? Well, I think uh, from what I understand, uh, you know, the Competition Commission of India tries to prohibit anti-competitive practices combinations or abuse of dominant position here it mm. seems like it looks at this abuse of dominant position because google seems to be capturing everything uh, left right and center so that is something which the competition commission of india has frowned upon and it finds it violative of the competition commission act and that's the reason why it slapped a penalty now obviously the as per the competition commission act Shreya, these guys have a uh, a chance to go to the appellate tribunal which is the nclat the national commission uh, company law appellate tribunal national company law okay. appellate tribunal and then uh, you know you do whatever you want to do before them you challenge it apparently it seems that the nclat uh, did not interfere with the cci order and it refused to stay the order so obviously these guys will have to pay up so these guys went to the supreme court against the nclat's staying the operation or uh, refusing to stay the operation of the cci order saying that this mm. uh, cci order is absolutely malified because they cannot literally find fault with the nclat mm. refusing to say so they have to attack the main order first so they are attacking this order saying that the cci order is not appropriate this that and the other uh, you know that it's without application of mind etc and the supreme court clearly said that we do not find any problems with the order it is not without jurisdiction neither is there any manifest error that means if it's it's like saying that you go for a rent matter before a matrimonial court you know that's called without jurisdiction you can't do that matrimonial courts don't have jurisdiction over that so you're obviously cci has mm -hmm. jurisdiction as far as this subject matter is concerned and secondly uh, it is not there is no manifest error in the sense that there is no such error glaring in front of our eyes where we can see oh you know this is something which should have never been passed so we are not going to in interfere with this we give time till 31st of march to the nclat you level hmm. as many grievances as you want before them and let the nclat pass an order and if you are unhappy with that order then come to us Uh, let's just wait for Google to uh, react uh, because the matter is ongoing and the Supreme Court has said very clearly that you have to pay up at least 10% of the penalty that has been imposed on you by the Competition Commission. Uh, Swapnil, I was asking this question to Harish and I'm going to ask this question to you as well. Uh, is, uh, uh, you know, is this controversy that has arisen around Google only in India? Absolutely not. There are other markets who have said that you, Google is using its dominant position for unfair practices. So this case in many ways and how this case ultimately ends up uh, will resonate not just here in India, of course here in India, uh, but across the world as well. Uh, yes, Shreya, you're absolutely right. Uh, you know, these uh, kind of dominant positions, abuse is something which is prevalent by big giants across the world. Now, you know, to give you a contrary view, just, uh, you know, and, and this is not for the laughs of it or anything of that sort, but, you know, if you're damn good at your job, mm. if you do well, and if you really, really capture the market, most of the antitrust laws, and let me tell you, even in the United States, there's a big ruckus over these antitrust laws. And this is an antitrust law. Competition Commission Act is nothing but an anti mm -hmm. antitrust as such, that you don't form cartels, you don't form combinations, you don't form mergers to dominate. You know, just this PVR, Inox Cinema merger also has, uh, you know, uh, got into a lot of... I mean, I know the directors of uh, the top people of both these companies and I know you know these guys don't have that intention in mind to capture the market or anything of that sort but nevertheless uh, you know Shreya this is how people perceive it and the competition act is there and you know the CCI is there to regulate it and it feels that you know this is throttling competition which is not healthy for a, a good consumer satisfactory point of view from consumer satisfaction but if you are really dominant if you're damn good then I think you are bound to dominate the market but that's that's an that's an aside view but what you are saying yes this this does tend to throttle competition in some form and this will have great repercussions across the globe whether i agree with it or not is a separate issue mm -hmm. that's that's a separate matter altogether and i do agree with most of it but it's, you know there is this contrary we, we, we lawyers always start to discuss these things but you know because it's it's ultimately at the end of the day on the basis of merit or whether they really form these kind of cartels to really dominate positions and this like that so regardless of that this is bound to have uh, repercussions no question about it Okay. No question. And this is bound to reach the Supreme Court. Let me tell you, it's not okay. going to end with NCLAT. I know it, it's not. Uh, yeah, Google is uh, rich and powerful. Well, why will they just sort of, you know, buckle bu buckle under government pressure, in the Indian government's pressure? They will, of course, take it to its uh, legal, logical end, as it were. We leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much. The